Where I have to go? You ask me some stupid bedroom. Two bedroom, all gender, all gender. It's like, what is this? Where I have to go? You ask me some stupid <laughs> like that. Go f yourself. Don't dehumanize me up here. I can post whatever I want. Here are eight athletes that stood up to whatever everyone is trying to push. Uh, we've got a pretty supportive gay and lesbian yeah. community in this city. I did want to ask you about something you wrote a couple of years ago. You said, if I had a gay son, I would think I... Oh, look, another, another... I'm because saying because to you, the swamp, you guys, the swamp. That, you become a champion, you become a star, and, and someone says... Let me ask model. you something. Are you, you, are, you, are, you chance, are you gay? Have you had the chance no, to are, interact are, with a are, more diverse are you, crowd? Let me know, are, are you gay? Can I, hear, can I get an answer? Well, no, I'm asking, I'm, this is a part of... Are you, are you a gay man? I'm an ally of the community. Okay. If you had a son and he was like, you know, you had a son, he was gay, you'd be like, oh, man, you don't, you don't want a grandkid? No problem with it. Oh, man. Well, you, dude, you're a weak man, dude. You're like, you're part of the problem. You elected Justin Trudeau. Like, with you when he sees the bank accounts, like, you're just pathetic. And, and the fact that, the fact that you have no backbone and, and has he shut down your country and seized bank accounts, you ask me some stupid shit like that, go yourself. Yeah, so it's 100% true, right? They elected in Canada, they elected Justin Trudeau, right? And he's done so much just di like dictator stuff to the people, yeah? With the tractors and the farmers and all that stuff, yeah? And he just got away with it and people were like clapping and cheering and like this is something that you would expect happening in Russia or Soviet Union or anything like that. Not something that happens in a democracy as Canada claims to be. And not only that, but the reporter keeps on going afterwards, right? So uh, he's being... he's doubling down basically. For what reason exactly? Because what, he's trying to corner Sean Strickland into making some uh, outrageous remark? Like, the guy is speaking his mind and he's speaking his mind and there's so many people agreeing with him anyway. Question, but I did want to ask also things you said about the trans community. You said uh, this past October when they announced the Bud Light sponsorship that you'd go so hard on Bud Light in your next fight, they'll have to accept me or denounce me. Yeah, but you see what's happening, yeah? Bud Light, they put like a trans model uh, inside one of their ads and people were like, why are you making this political? Why are you making this like such a social issue? Just sell the beer and that's it. And Bud Light is, is usually associated with a certain demographic in America anyway. And it, it doesn't really like... People just don't want politics and polarizing stuff being shoved into their faces, especially in sports, drinks and all that stuff. Just keep that out of sports and out of entertainment. Just entertain people and make sure people are having a good time without thinking about politics and social issues and all that stuff right because they just don't want that ideology shoved down their throats every single day here's the thing about bud light 10 years ago to be trans was a what a mental illness and now all of a sudden people like you have weaseled your way in the world you are you are an infection you are the definition of weakness. Everything that is wrong with the world is because of f***ing you. And the best thing is, is the world's not buying it. The world's not buying your f***ing bullshit, your f***ing peddling. The world is not saying, you know what, you're right, f Chicks have f***s. The world's not saying that. The world's saying, no, there are two genders. I don't want my kids being taught about, you know, who they could f***ing cool. I don't want my kids being taught about you know their sexual yes. preference exactly because kids shouldn't be asking themselves these questions kids should be left alone and be children and they should discover all the sides by themselves naturally not because you are trying to induce that at a very young age because what you are doing basically is uh, you are corrupting kids you are making them question a bunch of stuff and you are trying to normalize abnormal behavior and people or whatever it is yeah and you are basically trying to just manipulate them and corrupt them and that's why people like you promoting all that stuff are evil because you are uh, you want to look at the f enemy to our world it's that mother right there asking these stupid f questions yeah because uh he's 100 percent correct sean strickland is the voice of reason in this interview i like the f gays here's thing i've never you you guys think i've ever shit on a gay man or shit on a gay one i don't i like the gays it's it's a it's it's freedom we still have it in america we'll teach you about it. you guys don't have freedom of speech i'm surprised what i'm saying is probably gonna get i'm probably gonna get the uh, canadian government to arrest me so i don't give a who you 
I don't give a f what you want to do in life. But, but, don't fing tell kids about it. Don't teach that shit in school. Don't, don't fing push your agenda. Don't try to fing brainwash people. Don't try to go past parents. Don't try to go up past all this shit and brainwash people. You fing. Yeah, exactly. Because the problem is when you are teaching that in school. Now, personally, I believe whatever they are doing is a sin. Yeah, and they need Jesus. Other than that, do whatever you want if it's between consenting adults. Yeah, but they should be adults 100% of the time and they should be cons uh, consenting to it. And just keep that stuff out of uh, public life. Don't tell kids, don't tell the media, don't tell everyone, oh, look at me, I'm such a degenerate. Just, just stop it with all that stuff, yeah? Because you are doing the devil's work and you shouldn't be doing it. And this is the point where uh, Dana White, the head of the UFC, was asked about the interview because the interview went viral. And it's like, w what can he do about it? Um, you were talking about, like, you obviously give a long leash to your fighters about, you know, what they can say when they are up there with a the UFC microphone and you are getting into territory of homophobia, transphobia. Like, is there... I don't give anybody a leash. Well, I'm saying you... A leash? I'm st like free speech. Gonna when, control what people say. Kind of tell people what to believe. Kind of tell people. I don't fucking tell any other human being what to say, what to think, and there's no leashes. Exactly, because you see, Dana White believes in free speech. He has opinions that maybe some of you will not agree with. And who cares? He can have them and he can voice them publicly. He's not calling for violence. He's not doing anything wrong. He just has a different opinion. Move on with your life. Period. What is your question? I was asking that question. I'll move on, though. Yeah, uh, probably a good idea. You should, that's ridiculous to say I give somebody a leash. Free speech, brother. People can say whatever they want, and they can believe whatever they want. If and I don't think there's any. It, we had we had we had two gay women who fought in the co-main event. They sat on the stage with Sean Strickland. They could give a shit what Sean Strickland thinks or what he says or what his beliefs are or what his opinions are. You know what I mean? Yeah, you see, because uh, they don't really care about it. Just keep that stuff out of the public, yeah? Just have some human decency. Whatever you do in your own bedroom, yeah, with another adult, that's your business. Just shut up. We don't care. Don't tell anyone, especially children. And now Bulls, the... And now Bowles, the trainer, is uh, being tricked into a race baiting question by a reporter. And guess what? He 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 gives a correct answer. You you and Mike Tomlin are two of the few black head coaches in the league. I wonder what your relationship is like with them and your thoughts on Steve Wilkes joining that fold. I have a very good relationship with Tomlin. Uh, we don't look at what color we are when we coach against each other. We just know each other. I have a lot of very good white friends that coach in this league as well and I don't think it's a big deal as far as us being coaching against each other I think it's normal Wilkes got an opportunity to do a good job hopefully he does it and we coach ball we don't look at color because these reporters they are weasels they they are slimy they know what they are doing yeah so they will use these slimy tactics and try to get some clicks some rage bait clicks or whatever it is and they know exactly what they're doing and they are evil and they should be called out for it because because they should. But you also understand that representation matters too, right? And that when young aspiring coaches or even football players, they see you guys, you know, they see someone that looks like them, they grew up like them, that has to mean something. Well, when you say you see you guys and look like them and grow up like them, it means that we're eyeballs to begin with. And I think the minute you guys start, stop making a big deal about it, everybody else will as well. Yes, but you see, if that happens, then they will not get the clicks that they want, the rage bait and all that stuff, right? So they have to ask all these slimy questions because they want to make money out of it and they want to stir stuff up because it serves them. Next up, we have uh, the tennis player Nadal being asked about the gender, page ga uh, gender pay gap. Check him out. Preguntarte que a pesar de que aquí no pase y que en los cuatro Grand Slam haya equiparación salarial entre mujeres y hombres, eh, en muchos otros torneos esto no ocurre. ¿Qué opinión te merece que las mujeres cobren menos que los hombres en el tenis y que en qué crees que se basa esa desigualdad? Gracias. Pues no lo sé. 
Eh, no sé en qué se basa en el fútbol o en el golf o en el o en el modelaje. No sé por qué las mujeres ganan más que los hombres en, en, en el tema de, de la moda. Pues no lo sé. Pero ahí sí que tampoco hablamos todo el día de, de, de diferencia salarial. Yeah, it's a great point to discuss. And why are women models being paid way more? It's because the demand is way higher for female models, whatever the business is. Yeah, if you're a female and you're modeling, you're going to be making way more money because there's a demand and there's a market for it. And people are willing to pay actual money to see female models, whatever they are doing. So that's why you have that. It's just the market, for the most part, decides what's trending and what's not, and who gets to make a lot of money and who doesn't. That's just how the business works. Rato, pre Entiendo tu pregunta, pero es que llegamos un momento dado que, que estamos haciendo todo el rato preguntas capciosas. El pregunta es que estamos buscando todo el rato la, la polémica, ¿no? Y os interesa más un titular que pueda vender que lo que yo digo. Pues no te, no te voy a contestar más sobre, sobre este tema porque creo que contesto habitualmente de manera coherente y correcta y a veces se, se, tra bueno, se tergiversan lo que, las palabras que yo digo y evidentemente tengo madre, tengo hermana y son de las personas que más quiero en este mundo. O sea, ¿qué que, que más quiero yo que, que los hombres y las mujeres seamos exactamente igual y tengamos todos los mismos derechos, ¿no? A quien gane más, quien gane menos. Que no por ser hombre o por ser mujer se gane más o se gane menos. Se tiene que ganar más o se tiene que ganar menos por la calidad de tu trabajo o por lo que tú seas capaz de, de vender o generar. Exactly, because you see a lot of uh, female models are gonna generate way more revenue than male models, so obviously they are gonna get paid way more, because people pay way more attention to them. It is what it is. Next up we have uh, Ronda Rousey being asked about the gender pay gap and uh, let's check out what uh, she has to say. Just another quick one about Angela's question on equality just before. Um, we've got quite a large pay dispute happening with our Australian women's soccer team at the moment. Um, is it frustrating for you as someone who's so prominent in your sport and we heard you say on the Ellen show the other day you are the richest fighter in UFC that that sort of thing is still going on? I think that how much you get paid should have something to do with how much money you bring in. I'm the highest paid fighter not because Dana and Lorenzo wanted to do something nice for the ladies. <laughs> They do it because I bring in the highest numbers. They do it because I make them the most money. And I think that the money that she, they make should be proportionate to the money that they bring in. And it's a great answer and it's the correct answer by the way because if you as a person are able to generate a bunch of revenue on whatever market you're in, obviously you should be paid accordingly, right, for your services. She brings in a lot of eyeballs, she's gonna get a lot of money, she's gonna generate a lot of money too, so it is what it is. Stop trying to trick all these athletes or entertainers into stupid questions and stupid answers. Expressed interest in, you've expressed interest in liking superheroes and a lot of Hollywood is coming out that the representation is very over-sexualized. What do you think about the portrayal in media? Of superheroes? Superhero women? women? Yeah. I mean, I mean, the guys have like 16 packs. I mean, it's, it's, it's very much like an over-idealized idea of what, you know, a human being should be. And so, you know, um, I think that the The male superheroes are overly masculinized and, you know, the women are overly feminized and, you know, I think that's just part of, like, the whole superhero universe, really. This is how entertainment works, but you see the reporters, the way they ask questions and the way they phrase it, because they want to get, like, a juicy reaction out of it, they know exactly what they're doing. They're slimy, just disgusting people. So then do you, I guess, understand or not understand those that might imply that that work had anti-Semitic leanings in it. Right. And I only ask this because the tweet is still up there, so I We're in 2022. It's on Amazon, a public platform. Whether you want to go watch it or not is up to you. There's things being posted every day. I am no different than the next human being, so don't treat me any different. Yeah, you see? Exactly. He just gave the correct answer. 
He's he's not falling for it. To follow up on the promotion of the movie and the book. Can you please stop calling it a promotion? What am I promoting? Put it out on your platform. But I'm promoting it? Do you see me doing, do you see By me in front of the putting it out there, the people are going to say that you are yeah, promoting. Yeah, put it out there, just like you put things out there, right? Yeah, but I, okay. I, it's not You put stuff. things out there for a living, right? Right, but my Great. stuff is Great. not so let's move on. filled let's with move on. anti-Semitic Let's stuff. move on. Don't dehumanize me up here. I, I'm, not, I'm not doing I'm that. You're human free being. to post I can what, post whatever I want, so say that what, and shut it down and move on to the next question. But Kyrie, you have to understand that by I don't have post, to understand anything from you. But, but it's Nothing. not me. Nothing. By posting no people that you're making up, bro. Move on. But by posting what you did. Move on, next question. Anybody Do you guys, have any, you guys have any more questions? And they're going to say, "You guys have any more questions?" Because this is going to be a clip. Beliefs. This is going to be a clip that he's going to marvel at. Is this any more questions? But you're not answering the question. Oh, this is another answering your question. Oh my God! Let's make another Instagram clip so we could be famous again. Uh, it's his right to post whatever he wants. Yeah, he's not really promoting anything. It's just like, ah, oh, here's something that I uh, recently uh, read or whatever. I'll just post it. It is what it is. Can we just move on now? A very technical question for you. I know you're a math guy, and, and this one may be a tough question for you if, you. if you're uncomfortable answering this one, I'm totally okay with that. In America, we have a few hundred genders. How many genders do you guys have in Russia? <laughs> you just very, I know you're a math guy, that's so why I'm asking. I think maybe there's a... Here yeah, is like I see only women and men. There is no, yeah. no between. Got it. Got it. No between. Yeah, because you see, they are still normal back there. So obviously, for them, they haven't fallen for all this propaganda and all this circus. That's all this gender nonsense that's happening in the West. It's just still like they still believe in science. It's crazy. It's like first time in my life. Couple weeks ago, and I was in California. I was like on coffee shop. It's like I really want to go bedroom. It's like can I go bedroom? Okay, they told me cold, and I'm coming like two bedroom, all gender, all gender. It's like what is this? Where I have to go? <laughs> First time I see it, like I stop, like I I, I stay like five seconds there, like where's woman? Where's man? I lock the door. <laughs> Anybody inside? <laughs> okay. It's like, I don't know. But I, I, I grew up in, uh, when in very traditional place, in very tra with very traditional family. I'm very happy with this. Like, I am from big mountains and we have only two genders. This is how it should be. Two genders, male and female. That's it.